what we have right here guys is some beef fajitas yes y'all um, I actually purchased this fajita mix already marinated with the peppers at my local grocery store but if you guys cannot find that all you have to do is buy some skirt steak and your three color tricolor bell peppers the red yellow and green bell peppers and also some onion you would then saute your vegetables first and then once your vegetables saute you want to add in your steak or your beef you can also use chicken for this recipe and then you can add a pack of fajita seasoning mix and that's all you have to do guys and then if you want you can add a half a tablespoon or teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce <laughs> if that's how you pronounce it so we're just gonna let this cook on medium heat for about eight minutes and it smells so wonderful and the seasonings that I'm going to go in with even though it's already marinated I'm just going to add a little bit of the Goya adobo and a couple sprinkles of the Saison Goya so we'll be back guys. so here are the ingredients that we're going to need and that you can use to top your fajitas with we have some shredded lettuce some limes over here we have some parsley you can use cilantro as well some sweet onion some homemade tortilla chips I have some chunky salsa and also some tortilla flour shells. I've added the Saison season. I'm just going in with maybe a teaspoon of the adobo all-purpose seasoning and lemon and pepper and I'm just going to sprinkle that into our beef fajita. You guys season to your own taste and that should do it. We're going to mix that up and basically our fajitas are done. So guys now that we have our fajitas plated they smell so good. We're going to go in with a little bit of lettuce And you can add as much or as little as you may please. All right. Now we're going to go in with some onion. Some onion. All right. Add a couple limes. parsley or cilantro and we're gonna have the salsa and chips on the side add some sour cream and those are our beef fajitas 